managing the customer experience is a critical requirement in a telecommunications market being swamped with more and more devices and ever demanding customers. In London this week around 80 operators are gathered for the Customer Experience Global Summit where they get the chance to join their peers and share experiences. Maximising ROI from CM initiatives, measuring those metrics and learning how to give their customers the wow factor are just some of the talking points here this week. Earlier I spoke to Jeremy Morris of Google and asked him about CM in the telecoms market. Jeremy, you've given a talk today and one of the interesting facets was that people are more focused on CEM in telecoms than perhaps in other areas. Why is that? I think there's a few reasons. I think firstly, we're all glued to our, our mobile devices. Uh, we're all, you know, we, we've all seen the massive growth and importance of, of phones um, and we're seeing an incredible increase in people using their phones for internet uh, over, over desktop. Um, I think the second reason is that there's a massive room for improvement. They are complicated devices, there's lots of different parts to them. Um, you can't really kind of afford to be without them. And so if I look across our, our platforms, we see that there are more queries uh, or more questions related to um, telecoms than any other category. And that's because of the devices, is it really, that they're trying to use? That's right. I mean, you know, if you think what our devices can do now to what they, what they could do in the past, they can do much more than they used to. And so, you know, there are lots of questions which come up. But I think what's interesting is that as, you know, as consumers, we're actually much more comfortable with self-service. So if you think about how other industries, such as travel, have now moved to online check-in, purchase of tickets, and actually you go to an airport without speaking to anybody, you can go straight through into security. It's the same aspiration that I think a lot of clients have around mobile phones. They like to actually engage on a lot of the basic queries without having to talk to people. And so we've seen a massive growth in digital queries. Um, it's been a 50% growth year on year, as customers are trying to actually answer their questions themselves, rather than having to call into call centres. So give us some uh, good and perhaps not so good um, examples of, of how operators are, are doing their CM, things that you've seen. Yes, yeah, so I think there's a few things from around the world actually, and I'll start off just on the mobile theme with Verizon in, uh, uh, in, the, in the States. They actually have, when you go onto their mobile site, and they have a mobile site where lots of UK businesses don't have one yet, they actually, their site recognises which phone you're on, so it gives you personalised information about how to help your phone on, you know, on the phone that you've got, whether it's a Galaxy Nexus or an iPhone 5, it recognises which phone you've got, which I think is fantastic. And it's really using the benefits of mobile, which is, you know, the device, the location and the, and the operating system. I think the next good example is, uh, is O2 in the UK. They've got a fantastic hub of customer service videos on, on YouTube under the name of O2 Guru TV. And they're actually driving a lot of people there as their primary destination for customer service help on, online. And I think the third one is, is GIFGAF. Um, now GIFGAF, uh, if you don't know it, it's a, it's, a, it's a virtual mobile operator powered by O2. And it's really been set up around a community. So a, they've got a very active community who do a whole range of things from uh, advising with products, uh, design, building apps, uh, advertising, and also customer support. And on average, they see that the response time of their users is 70 seconds, um, which is very, very fast, obviously. Now, on the not so good side, I'm not asking you to name names here. Give me a couple of examples of where you've seen something and you've thought, oh, no, that's a nightmare. <laughs> so I think, I think the key thing for any brand is to understand what are, the, what are your customers asking about. And you can often look to your call centre as to what are, what are the top ten questions and transport those into digital. And just look at the customer experience that you get as a consumer for typical topics tend to be your first bill payment. A lot of people have questions around you know, why the first bill is the, you know, is, the, is the amount it is. A lot of people have questions around setting up their phone. And so what I would advise brands to do is look at the customer experience from your top queries in the call center across desktop, mobile, and tablet, and see whether it is simple to resolve that query. And if it's not, then look to actually improve that process, whether it's getting people the right information or just providing hopefully more personalized experience and a better answer to their question. And where do you see uh, CEM sort of going forward? Give us a few a futuristic look from your point of view. So what I think is going to happen is that mobile is really going to take a central role. Um, we see that 38% of all the queries in the UK are mobile and tablet based. Um, and that's only going to grow over time. We already see that some markets such as Japan are over 50% and we expect the UK um, to, to carry on its massive growth. 
And I think what will happen is that the mobile will become the primary device for customer services, and it'll be much more personalised, again, with information about where you are, um, which phone you've got, which network you're on, which operating system you're on, are all things which can bring this much better experience. And then, um, you know, there are some exciting projects that Google's working on, such as Google um, Glass, Project Glass, which is augmented reality glasses, which incorporate a number of the functions of mobile, um, driverless cars, or another very exciting development which has just been authorised in uh, in the state of Nevada. So, uh, you know, I think I think a few of those projects have got some exciting futures as well. Well, it sounds like there's some exciting times ahead for everyone. Uh, in the meantime, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you.